first person in human history to declare in no uncertain terms that no person is above another by virtue of race or ethnicity. This declaration is crystallized in one of the prophet's notable speeches, his last sermon, as it is known, which was delivered on Mount Arafat in 632 AD. In that sermon, the prophet unequivocally condemned racism when he said, all mankind is descended from Adam and Eve. An Arab has no superiority over a non-Arab. And a non-Arab has no superiority over an Arab. A white person has no superiority over a black person. Nor a black person has any superiority over a white person, except by piety and good action. Ever since then, Prophet Muhammad's teachings on racial equality have inspired human beings to strive for racial equality and justice for all. Consider the life of al Haj Malik al-Shabazz, more commonly known as Malcolm X, the black Muslim civil rights leader who battled racism in the 1950s and 1960s. After performing the Hajj, or Islamic pilgrimage, to the city of Mecca, Malcolm wrote his famous letter from Mecca, in which he said, there were tens of thousands of pilgrims from all over the world, they were of all colors, from blue-eyed blondes to black-skinned Africans. But we were all participating in the same ritual, displaying a spirit of unity and brotherhood that my experiences in America had led me to believe never could exist between the white and the non-white. He added that he had never before seen sincere and true brotherhood practiced by all colors together irrespective of their color. The Hajj for Malcolm represented a shift away from racism and towards racial equality. The teachings of Prophet Muhammad encouraged all people to strive towards anti-racism, which is quite different than simply non-racism.